Hey, everybody. I wanted to sit down and talk to you all. Because right now I feel really alone. I have just gotten out of um, an abusive relationship. It's probably easier if I hold it like this. It's probably a lot easier, but it might come up sideways, and I don't want that. I've just gotten out of um, an abusive relationship. And I found this other guy that I really liked. He was really nice to me, and he treated me how I felt like I deserved to be treated. And everything was going great. Everything was going so great. But we were kind of dating in secret, like my parents knew, but his parents didn't. And, um... <sighs> and, um, he told them. And, like, he really, he really liked me and everything, and then he told them, and they must have said something about me. Because now he's like acting like a, a completely different person and I don't understand it at all and I'm like really hurt by it because they're like talking about his sister and like his parents are talking about like how they don't really want him dating somebody with a mental illness. And that hurt because if I could choose, I wouldn't have a mental illness. <laughs> Struggling with my anxiety and my depression is such a hard battle. You know, I don't I don't sleep a lot because my anxiety is always there and it's constantly in the back of my mind. <laughs> And it's everything I do and everything I say, my anxiety goes off and it's like, oh, well, this is going to happen and this is going to happen. And sometimes it wins and sometimes it doesn't. And my depression makes me feel like I don't deserve anything. Like I don't deserve happiness. <laughs> so if I had my way... I wouldn't, I wouldn't have my mental illnesses, and I know anybody who suffers with a mental illness feels the same way, like, if you had your choice, we would all be happy, and we, none of us would be suffering from mental illness, and these people are acting like I'm some, like, serial killer, like, raging serial killer who has a mental illness, who, like, doesn't know how to control myself, like, it's not my fault that I have a mental illness <laughs> and it just hurts to be judged by people who don't even know you <laughs> like that I went through that my entire life there's people constantly judging me based on my appearance and based on how I talked and based on just everything how I dressed how smart I was and everything and and I thought that would stop or not be as impactful in my life after I got out of high school but this guy was like amazing like he was so amazing and then, like, he said all these nice things and everything, and I took screenshots of them and saved them for my phone because they made me so happy. And I just sent them to him, and I was like, do you even mean any of this? Like, did you? And he was like, I did. And then I got back into reality, and I was just like, what? Like, dating me? I'm like freaking Beyonce. And dating me is like such a privilege, and if anybody like sits there seriously and goes... Like, <laughs> I should be breaking up with the people, not them breaking up with me. I don't, like, and I was his first girlfriend and everything. So I don't understand why he, what he thinks or why he, th I don't, I don't understand. But knowing that 
my mental illnesses take such a big part and they don't like it. They, they said that like it was cringy how I talked about mental illness on my Instagram and everything. Like they went through my blog and they went through my Instagram and social medias and they saw how much like they saw how much I talk about like mental illness and how I talk about my mental illnesses and how it affects me on a daily basis. And they thought that was cringy. I'm, I'm very upset because <laughs> I do feel like I've been struggling a lot with him recently. I don't feel like I just feel like lying in bed and sleeping all night. I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> and right now I'm really struggling with my self worth. <laughs> and I know there's people out there who care about me. I know you all care about me. And that's why you're sitting here watching this video, even though it's probably making you upset. But. <laughs> I just knew I could come talk to you all because I don't feel like I have anybody else. And it sucks. <laughs> because I, I don't understand why it's so hard for me to like find somebody who actually wants to be with me. I literally have one friend. I have one female friend and we've never met. But I don't understand why. It's so hard for me to find people who want to be around me. Like, I don't understand what's so different or wrong or bad about me that makes me, like, other people not want to be around me. And it's gotten to the point where I, I don't like being around other people. I hate being social. So if I choose you and I, like, purposely want to be with you, like, that's a, that's a big freaking deal because I hate going outside. I hate being outside the house. And I hate, like, interacting with anybody. such a burden sometimes <laughs> and I feel like I just wear everyone down when I go to talk to them and I, I'm, just, I'm just so worn out myself I'm so worn out and exhausted all the time and my doctors blame it on my weight and I'm on medications and I want to get off of them and I just Right now, I definitely feel like my life is at a low, and I know things are going to get better. And I've been praying every night, and I want things to get better. I just, I feel like I've been at this low for a couple months now. And I want everything to get better, too. I want my prayers to be answered. I want everything to work out. And I want everything to be okay, and I want to be able to sleep at night, and I want to be able to, like, not stress so much, and I want, you know, my work to pay off, because I'm working, like, 70 hours a week, and I'm working that much because I want my dreams to come true, and I, I want a future for myself. I just don't understand why people don't like me. I really don't. Like, what's so bad with me that nobody wants to, like, be with me? I'm just really upset. I don't know who else to talk to, but I do want to have you guys. So, thanks for sitting here and listening to me ramble on and watching me cry. I appreciate it. I appreciate all the love you all are going to give me. I hope you are having a good day. And please do not worry about me because I will be okay. I'm just going through a hard time right now, but thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video.